Every year, we herald the coming of Christmas by turning on the lights. And light does more than create a festive mood. Light brings hope. For Christians, Jesus is the light of the world, but we can't celebrate his birth today in quite the usual way. People of all faiths have been unable to gather as they would wish for their festivals. Remarkably, a year that has necessarily kept people apart has in many ways brought us closer. Across the Commonwealth, my family and I have been inspired by stories of people volunteering in their communities, helping those in need. In the United Kingdom and around the world, people have risen magnificently to the challenges of the year. And I'm so proud and moved by this quiet, indomitable spirit. To our young people in particular, I say thank you for the part you have played. This year, we celebrated International Nurses' Day on the 200th anniversary of the birth of Florence Nightingale. As with other nursing pioneers like Mary Seacole, Florence Nightingale shone a lamp of hope across the world. Today, our frontline services still shine that lamp for us, supported by the amazing achievements of modern science, and we owe them a debt of gratitude. We continue to be inspired by the kindness of strangers and draw comfort that even on the darkest nights, there is hope in the new dawn. Of course, for many, this time of year will be tinged with sadness, some mourning the loss of those dear to them and others missing friends and family members distance for safety. When all they really want for Christmas is a simple hug or a squeeze of the hand, if you are among them, you are not alone. And let me assure you of my thoughts and prayers.